Hey there, Chronic Joy Tarot here with our weekly guidance for the week of April 17th through the 23rd. We're in the middle of this beautiful spring month of April and let's see what's happening here for the rest of the, well actually the beginning of the second half of the month. How about that? I hope everyone's month is going well so far. mine is. We're going to see what we've got going here as far as where we're standing now and where we're headed for the coming week. We start out here at the point of the highest point of consciousness. Third eye is lit up. So we're starting here in a good place. It seems like whatever we've accomplished in the past week has brought us to, you know, um, another level of understanding a, another level of um, perspective, the way of seeing things. Maybe some of us might feel a little more calmer, a little more detached from drama, and that's a good place to be. We're supported by that. The underlying hidden support to this energy is the moment-to-moment -moment card. This is a card that assures us that no matter where we step, We'll be okay. We'll be supported. This figure is not looking, not caring. He's taking in everything around him and living exactly in this moment. And his next step is un unknown, but he trusts that he'll be supported. So this is a really nice um, sort of hidden energy that supports this starting position here of higher consciousness. Good place to start. And in our external world, it shows up as going with the flow, which is lovely. It's a really nice, this is a really good three-card spread here to start our week. So we're in a place of a better understanding of what's going on around us, supported by sort of a feeling of actually internally and externally of not really having to worry. Nothing really to worry about right now. If you feel you know a little extra stress and that you're feeling worried check in you know check in with your heart because what happens when we start to worry too much is we're too much up in our head we're too much in our mind the thoughts are chattering too loudly and if you just go deep into that spot way within that just always knows and that's of course you know your soul your spirit your um, your higher power your place you know, that reaches God, whatever, whatever, um, you know, semantics you use, we all have that place deep inside that always just knows that we're okay. And this is where we're starting from. And if you feel like you're not there, do a few meditations at the start of this week to really just appreciate what you have, how far you've come, where you stand in this moment. And then looking to the week ahead, this is a oh, nice place, success. We pulled the success card. So by having this foundation of, I wouldn't say, you know, don't worry about anything, but the foundation is that trust, that even if we have things to tackle and worry about and manage, we know we're always okay. And that's a really good foundation to have. That will lead you to, to your success. Success, whether it be in, you know, like literal outward success, financial, in your life, in your work, or a personal shift of feeling more successful at mastering these energies. It's a nice, it's a nice thing to look forward to. And if you have this foundation, it's easier to get to. Okay? And then underneath that energy or you could call it we call it the um, internal hidden energy that's kind of um, driving this forward is I pulled the clinging to the past card so this figure has all her memories boxed up in her mind in her head she's reliving them living them living them the problem is she cannot see what's right in front of her She's too cluttered up with um, what's going on in the past. So if we can loosen that, loosen that need to 
you know, um, cling to ideas and memories of the past that no longer serve you. You know, the happy memories, of course, help you along the way. The things that we struggle with that no longer serve you, we could try to gently let go of those. That will support our success and help us master that better. And at the end of the week, the final um, card I pulled is the sense of completion. So we're, we're completing a cycle. And of course, like I've said before, this puzzle piece is being placed, the last piece in place is going into the third eye spot. So your intuition intuitively um, realizes that you know, you're completing a cycle or you could be just literally completing a cycle in your life. This time of year, you know, the the first the spring month, the first sign of the zodiac is Aries. This is, you know, everything's blooming, things are warming up. This is a big time of shifting. This is, you know, almost like, you know, um, you know, in the zodiac it's the start of a new year. Um our calendar year, it's not exactly the start, but it is the beginning of spring. So this is about fresh starts. This reading is supporting that, where we've come to a place of better understanding. We can operate better from that higher sense of consciousness, that deeper state of knowing we're okay. And that will lead to success. As long as we can maneuver our way past this card here, which is that one that, but you know, um, I don't know, like say you're in some sort of a conflict with someone and you can't let go of the things they did and said in the past, it will block your success to complete, you know, to complete that cycle and leave it behind for good. Um, you know, we're all humans um, on this planet trying, you know, we're, we're doing our best, right? We're just human. And when we hold people accountable for their actions, even if they were deep in the past, and sort of um, use that as a touchstone or a um, guidepost for our own happiness, we're in trouble. We're all doing the best we can separately, uniquely in our own place. And if you rely on someone else's behavior or actions to make you happy, that's not going to work. You're in charge of your own happiness. And I think you're learning that or you have learned that. So go ahead and continue that energy and look forward to a really successful week. And find that you may feel a sense of um, completion or a sense of accomplishment within. You know, there might be a su subtle shift within your own spirit that, uh, you know, that you notice that you feel oh, maybe six months ago, I wouldn't have responded this way to whatever this is going on in your head. But now I feel, you know, I feel better equipped because I know I'm always okay. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you enjoy your week. Um, subscribe to my channel for automatic updates and monthly Zodiac readings as well. We'll see you um, next week for another reading and then at the 1st of May for the Zodiacs. If you want uh, to book a reading with me, if you look in this corner right here, right now, there's a link to my website and you can find out more information and um, book a reading with me. Okay, I hope you enjoy your week, this lovely spring weather. Okay, take care. Bye.